Hey. Are you ready to do this? Yeah, I hope so. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. <laughs> uh, I'm Hannah Mouncey. Pronouns are she and her. And uh, look, I'm a handball player, football player, business owner, dog mum. I stand up for everyone being given an equal shot. It's about everyone being treated with the respect they deserve. Started playing handball when I was probably 19 years old, so I was quite late to it. Um, but in Australia, that's pretty common because it's not a huge sport here. And then um, transitioned from male to female in 2016, so I would have been 27, um, which, which was difficult. Um, but, you know, I was always gonna keep playing sport because why wouldn't I? And then in the last two years, you know, I run a company um, that I started two years ago, um, and we provide disability support um, for people in Melbourne and in Canberra who are suffering from a mental health condition or have a neurological condition. So by that we call autism, Down syndrome, all those sort of things. Um, and that's been amazing. You know, in the last, even the last six months, you know, I've gone from having no staff to 10. For a long time it was just me. Um, and it's just terrific. Like we get to help people every day. Um, and in that, you know, we get a lot of trans people come anyway once they realise that it's a safe place. And, you know, with autism, there are, is a really high proportion of trans people who also have autism. Look, sport's really important to me because it's always been where I felt comfortable, which I know is not the case for 99% of trans people, really. So it's a little bit different. Um, but for me, it's always been where I felt safe. And to be honest, it's probably what I used to cover up all the insecurities that I had too. And I threw myself headlong at it. And so for me, it's what I've always done and wanted to do a lot of things in that place. And I knew if I was trans, like I couldn't do it. Um, so by the time I, I knew what trans was and I thought maybe it was going down that path, I was like, no way, I can't be because then what happens to sport? And so I just buried it for a lot of other reasons too, but I just buried it. And um, it wasn't till I was 24, 25 that it just became impossible to live with. Uh, like it really did. I was like beyond exhausted running away from it and trying to work out what it was and being terrified that people would find out that I had these thoughts and feelings around who I was and for me sport gives me purpose because it was always something to work towards for me it was always the thing that I knew I was good at it was a purpose it was a drive to achieve something um, to become good at something and you know do something with a group of people that you also have a lot of fun with for anyone struggling with their gender identity or their sexuality I, I would just say it's not a race you don't have to know who you are who you're attracted to and to be honest, it might change over time anyway. Um, you know, in the, in the sense of your sexuality anyway. Gender identity, you know, that's really, that can be really fluid too. Um, for me, it's not. But you don't have to know right now. And if you do know right now and you're really scared of coming out or don't know how to do it, don't yet. You'll, you'll know when you're ready. You'll know when the time is right. But I would just say, when you do, everything will be okay because you'll have probably worked out who the right people to talk to are. Because I, and I can use myself as an example, I, I was trying to work out how to come out for like a year when, once I knew I had to do it and I was terrified. Um, and the thing is, I knew everyone would be fine and I didn't think anyone would have any issues, but I was still terrified. It's been incredible. Like I, everything I'm doing now, I, I never would have been able to do before. You know, like with work, I'm sure I wouldn't be in the position I am now owning a company with however many staff if I hadn't transitioned. I know I wouldn't be. You know, I certainly wouldn't be as good a person or as good a friend as, to everyone that I know now if I hadn't transitioned.